Howdy folks, I just wanted to do a quick follow-up video about this cookie tin banjo that I just uh, posted a DIY video on the other day. If you haven't seen that, make sure you check that out. So here's the truth of this, guys. When I made this, I was just like, hey, I got this cookie tin laying around. Seems like a cool thing to make a video to have other people do the same. And this thing is awesome, folks. Like this thing sounds great. I cannot put it down. So if you remember during the video when I drilled these holes for the strings to go through the center hole, um, I kind of didn't have a good grip on the um, on the board when it did the drill press and it elongated the hole and the look of it kind of bothered me. So I put some little rivets in there. You can probably just see that. Um, and it, it's nothing major, but it just, it cleans up the look a little bit. So I like that. Another thing that I noticed is on this back here, like when you press on it, you can actually hear that in the video. It would kind of make like a boom, boom, boom sound. And you could kind of hear it when you're playing it because you'd hold it against your body and kind of do that. Well, what I did is I took the top off and maybe you can just kind of see some zip ties around here. And I, um, I cut a piece of craft foam the same size as the top and then a piece of cardboard and then I zip, to, zip tied them to the top here. And now you can push on that all you want and it doesn't make that clankety clank sound. And remember during that video, I showed you how to find the third, fifth, seventh, ninth, and 12th fret lines without needing a gauge. Well, I went back and I put in the rest of them as well. When you strum this thing, it has that weird kind of rackety thing. It almost sounds like it's plugged into an amp. But it's not, that's just the way it sounds. So I thought, what would it sound like electric? So I added a piezo pickup and a jack here. I've got one of my cigar box amps here. So let's plug it in real quick. I am just amazed at how much I like this thing. I was not expecting to like it as much as I did. I know recently I did a video called My Worst Musical Creations where I was talking about things that I really put a lot of effort into and they just didn't come out that great. This is the complete opposite. I put virtually no effort into this and I just love it. Anyway, there it is. If you haven't made one of these, make one because this thing is magical. I'm gonna get back to playing it. Mm -hmm. 